we also have our man of the moment with us this moment right now who is Bruce Gounder and so we're gonna be having our live interview with him as well about his new movie release which is called The Bush Knife and so Bruce do you want to say hello to the listeners uh, hello everybody and uh, South Coast Radio thanks for having us and a huge shout out to everyone uh, we are deeply humbled and excited to be on your show thank you awesome stuff Bruce so I've got some questions uh, for you for this moment. Uh, the first question, yeah. okay. So the first question, based on both a an actor and producer's point of view, yes. can you tell us a bit about your journey to this point in your career? All right, uh, my journey as an actor has been a very, uh, very u- uh, unusual one. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's a kind of a rags to riches fairy tale story. I, uh, I've always said this to people, you know, you keep dreaming and you never stop dreaming. I started off as a little boy, about 11 years old, uh, sweeping cinemas. And that's where the influence of movies put me. And then I said, wow, someday I'm going to make it on the big screen. And, you know, uh, that's where I got my influence. And there you are. I'm on the big screen now. Uh, the Bush Knife is releasing. Uh, being the lead actor in the, uh, uh, on the big screen, and I give all the credit uh, to my director. Uh, so, it's a very interesting project, you know. Uh, we got together, we sat down in here, uh, planned it. Naturally, we got the you know, I'd really love to do the push back. It's an American influenced movie. Uh, he's seen a lot of my work, and he's been a fan of my work, you know. Uh, much of the time, um, uh, TV. I've done over 150 right, TV commercials, a lot of series and TV dramas. So I, I was a well established actor, and then I came up with uh, Ronaldo, and we discussed, I think, a book that very, very nice, a global thing, not a local content. It's, it's got an 80s into it, uh, and it's the concept for everybody. It's got a nice emotion, title, and everything. Yeah, that, that that's. Hi, Bruce. Can you hear me? You are breaking up for a moment there. Sorry about that. Um, So, I have a few questions uh, based on acting for you at this moment. So, what did you find most challenging about portraying your character? Conversely, what was the most rewarding aspect? Hi, Bruce. Okay, seems like we've lost Bruce once again due to the network. Bruce, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very clear. We lost you for a moment there again. Could you explain to us uh, about what did you find most challenging about portraying your character? As an actor. All right, challenging. Challenging was well. It is it, a very, uh, it's a very diverse character with multi uh, emotions and that kind of stuff. And he's a guy that had to uh, learn martial arts and sword fighting. You know, yeah. the art of combat and weapons training. That's not an easy thing for just a normal person to do. That. Sure. And I had to spend uh, lots of time and months with a qualified martial arts expert. Uh, Mr. Anish Moglav. That's great stuff. So that, that was quite challenging. That was quite challenging, yeah. yeah. You got to get the technique right or you could slash somebody's nose or ears or timing and true. stuff. That was quite challenging. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so how did you prepare for this role? Did you draw any inspiration from specific sources? Yes, uh, that, that's a very good question, right? I'm glad you asked that. Look, there's been a lot of American movies, vigilante movies. We never had a South African hero uh, mm-hmm. that just fights for his family. Uh, we had movies like uh, Dusk Till Dawn, uh, Quentin Tarantino, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the Machete movie with Danny Trejo. 
Yeah. Uh, it's matched American. So those are some of the inspirations you can draw. You cannot uh, copy their style, but you can get inspiration from them and then things like Sin City. Uh, you would notice the color grading of a movie and the way it's shot. It's nothing like any other local movie. Mm-hmm. Our director has a very unique concept and a very unique style of shooting. So yeah, I draw inspiration from all the movies that I've watched all over the years, no matter how small or good. Uh, it did help me in some way get into this character, into this character's brain, uh, getting the inner emotions, the outer emotions. I also drew from my past experience uh, being a method actor. You know, there's very uh, scenes where the guy gets very angry. There are very uh, sad scenes when he loses some uh, members of his family. So these are kind of the inspiration you draw. Uh, I'm sure I answered uh, much of the question. <laughs> most, most probably uh, okay yeah. so I'm gonna move to uh, a few questions based on uh, p- producers aspect okay so uh, what were some of the biggest challenges you faced during a uh, production process how did you overcome them in general so so remember the, the, the financial and the most core thing of producing any movie is finance when you need big budget movies and you would see with the bush knife we achieved something with a very minimum budget and you know yeah. uh, we were very uh, grateful to the people that came on board mm-hmm. especially our executive producer Mr. Ronaldo Cal that yes. put most of his own money into the production and yeah. we got sponsors and stuff and we had to go out and shoot at various locations uh, uh, these were trying times and sometimes we had to change locations when we had weather you know when you plan ahead and then something uh, something else happens and you have to change locations which is not planned for and then it blows your budget uh, these kind of days when you plan to shoot for certain days and then you extend the days and all these have become challenges uh, these are some of the things and you need high tech equipment uh, renting equipment yeah. uh, uh, teaching for people uh, it, it's all a challenging you got to pay people make sure. them uh, happy make your actors happy make sure that they are set Uh, make sure that everything is coordinated so you remember we are both producers make sure as an actor and a producer uh, well my director handle most of that but when I'm set I just get into character but you make responsibility and see that everybody is well taken care of and that everybody is is happy you know this is not a one man thing it's a, exactly. it's, a, it's a concept it's a it's, it's a collaborative thing that's correct Bruce I would also agree with you on that And also, yes. um, what are your hopes for the film's uh, impact on audience? I, 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 I'm glad you asked that because we are very, uh, uh, being the lead actor, I'm very confident of this movie. I'm very confident of my performance. I'm very confident of the, the overall production, uh, you know, regarding the resources and everything. Uh, I hope that... It reaches uh, lots of audiences. I want everybody, my family, my friends, whoever knows us, go and watch this movie and see that why we keep telling it like no other South African movie that's ever been produced before. It's not just any slapstick comedy or what. It's a genre of action and thriller. And we are trying to grow the, the movie industry. And, you know, every time I step out of my office or I'm at my supermarket, people are already asking me, Uh, is there going to be a sequel and that kind of stuff so we as filmmakers we think of ourselves as global and yeah and there's a very uh, touching theme you know a, a man a daughter a father finally he lives to protect that that no matter what mega jobs they're being no matter what little salary they're getting But they make sure that their daughters are kept, kept, you know, safe. And this attack, uh, William Singh, the bush knife, yeah. he takes revenge and he goes out and finds and looks for his daughters, you know, without giving much of the story. I think it's going to be touching everybody's heart, man, if you got an emotion and a feeling. Go and watch this movie. We open on the 15th of March at uh, Stair Kinnikos Cinema at Rosebank, The Zone, uh, at the... Uh, a gateway in uh, Durban and N1 city in Cape Town and uh, as I speak to you I'm hearing that most cinemas are going to take the movie as well and 
there's been so much of uh, outreach and so much of excitement right uh, you know this is really exciting for me for me this is one of the biggest highlights of my career you know yeah. because it's through trial and error and we're very excited that's awesome stuff and uh, in fact bruce you've actually answered majority of the <laughs> questions based about the movie i was going to ask you but there is one more yeah, that i yeah. have um hey. which is uh, what message do you hope viewers will take away from the the movie uh message was well, uh, you know they, you must take into consideration that everybody going to be watching this movie yeah. you're going to have producers watching this movie you're going to have directors watching this movie you're going to have my students to watch this movie i i want them to take away that you know there is a chance for everybody in life Uh, speaking as a whole, look, this was a journey for us. If I may just uh, skip or uh, just deviate from what we're talking about, yeah. dare to dream, believe in your dreams. Dreams do come true. I mean, uh, nobody thought that the bush knife would be on cinemas today, and it's here it goes. And I hope they they get inspiration. Remember, we're taking people on a journey. Follow the journey of the family. Follow the journey of the the action, the sequences. Look at the the lovely locations that we shot. It was shot in South Africa, uh, right. the South Coast. You you will barely recognize some of the beautiful scenes that we have in the South Coast. I cope with the Buddhist retreat, and I hope they take away some of these beautiful images and they come back begging for more and they want to see a sequel. and they want to get into acting as i have a method acting school and they want to get the kids involved with acting and that kind of stuff uh that would be a, my one of my biggest goals yeah that's really awesome stuff uh bruce and that is actually a wrap up with our questions is there anything else you want to say to the listeners uh thank you so much guys for having you know uh, a shout out to all my people that are watching and listening actually uh shout out to my director Ronaldo Cal if you are listening buddy thank you so much for giving me a chance a uh, shout out to Mr Anish Moganlal for training and making me look so good on screen a uh, shout out to everybody every sponsor every cast every crew member no matter who you are no matter how big or small your part for helping us shout out to uh, South Coast Radio and who ever showed interest in this movie uh, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for giving me strength and power during these times I owe all to him and thank you Lord and I know you've got a lot of more doors opening for me and I'm confident and mm. a shout out to my Blue Town the Film Academy students I hope this makes you proud guys thank you That's really awesome stuff and that is our interview with Bruce Gounder and about his movie that's about to be released on the 15th of March which is called The Bush Knife and there you have it ladies and gentlemen being the wrap up for our interview right now The radio station you can't live without this is your radio This is South Coast Radio